Um, these are uh, so we're still back in we're still back in uh, the Ice Age, and um, and uh, the idea was that I was supposed to just design these characters and hand them off the way I have in all the other uh, projects that I've worked on. You know, I've done Finding Nemo and Tarzan and Bugs Life and Prince of Egypt and uh, some others and. Um, and mostly it's been, so here are the drawings, and thanks very much, we'll see you at the premiere, or whatever. And, um, and, and it's always been a game for, for me and for my fellow character designers who have worked on these big projects to figure out what did they use of ours exactly. And then you might recognize the floppy foot in the hunchback or something and say, that's mine. Um, but with... Um, with, uh, and that's just the way the studios have worked. You know, they, have, they work very compartmentalized. But uh, with uh, Blue Sky, they, this is the first feature film, they didn't know any better. So, uh, so I started to hang around. And, uh, and I remember specifically, I remember one day during the first film, I was, walking, I was walking past a modeler and he was busy on the machine and he was taking one of my characters, which was not really looking like one of my characters. And, and I, I almost walked by and I said, you know, what would happen if you, you know, changed that to like less of a rounded thing, but you gave it kind of an angle there and they tried it and I was like, hey, yeah, that looks really good. And I was in. <laughs> so I had started to um, become more embedded in the process and started to be actually invited to meetings that had more to do with, uh, that were about modeling. This is the, this is the rough process, you know, you do the, the, the character designs and then, uh, and then you, uh, and then it's time to do a, a model in clay. And I do drawings for that turnaround so we can figure out what that looks like. And then, uh, and then uh, it's remodeled in the computer and, um, and it's really just sort of doing it all over again. You've got the basic forms in your clay. Now they're able to scan it. Back then we had a very crude scanner so you the volumes was just like a chunk of rock was 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 translated from the from the clay figure to the to the computer but now it's it's much better when you do a sculpture you're really getting a lot of information that can be translated directly into the digital model but anyway there's still a lot of work that has to happen there and and so I sit with the digital modeler as well trying to get it's so easy to lose your character in these in the during this these processes. It's, you know, one shape is off and it's like, ah, it's gone. So uh, it's been wonderful to be able to um, safeguard the characters uh, through the process. And these, and, and so as part of that, I also do expression drawings because uh, an animator, an animator might choose to do a smile in a, a way that I think is very inconsistent with what, how that character would smile and what would happen with the cheeks. It's really surprising on how you know, uh, if it doesn't follow a basic set of rules that are true to the character, it's gone. Um, <clears throat> sketches of Scrat, who was supposed to be a throwaway character in a trailer, and he ended up being what he's become, which is pretty popular. Mary is finally rendered. Um, in the latest, in actually in number three, believe it or not, I've just finished work on number four.